Welcome back to another episode of Embroidery Hub. And in today's episode, we are going to show you how we got this embossed effect on this very textured, rose textured fabric. So stick around and I will show you how to get it done. Before we jump in, I did want to remind you guys that if you have any questions at all throughout the video, to leave a comment below and we'll get back to you with an answer. And I also wanted to say thank you guys so much to everyone who has subscribed so far. If you're new here, welcome to our channel. If you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and click subscribe and don't forget to click on the little bell icon because that will notify you every time we post a new video so uh, you won't miss a thing. I'm really excited to show you guys how I embroidered this cute little it's a girl design. And for those of you who do not know, I am expecting for this episode to be a very, very good one because a lot of people have been asking on the comments of our last video. It's uh, tips on textured fabrics. A lot of people asked for our embossing video. So I'm going to show you guys how you can do this exact technique. For those of you looking for more tips on textured fabrics, then go ahead to the other video. I will link it. But first, stick around and watch how I got this done. So the whole idea behind embossing is that the textured fabric is your statement. It is going to be your center of attention. So that is why I chose this very cool, kind of like a rose textured fabric from Joanne's Fabrics. And um, this is kind of uh, not typical when you see your embossing embroidery. You mostly see monogram towels. That's what you'll probably be doing if you do the embossing effect. There's other things that you can do with it too, but that's probably what you'll be doing, probably towels. Um, but for us, we're actually going to um, use this fabric to turn this into a pillow. So it's gonna be one of those cute little, like, I'm trying to show you guys so you can envision it. It's going to be one of those cute little horizontal like beanie bag pillows. Um, so you can do stuff like this with this like statement piece and really make it pop. So we wanted to show you guys something a little different so you can get more ideas because, um, you know, the kind of the towels, it's, it's good and it's practical, but we want to show you something new. Now let's talk about the actual materials we're going to be using. Now we're going to be using temporary adhesive spray cutaway stabilizer and water soluble stabilizer. Now, the necessary materials out of these three here, the very the most thing that you're going to need is your um, water soluble stabilizer. I'm using Solky Ultra Solvi. This is uh, one of the best. It's my favorite to use. It is a heavyweight stabilizer because I really want these stitches to come out clean and really pop out in between all this texture. We don't want that those stitches getting lost in here. And now, as far as stabilizer choice, I am using Cutaway for two reasons. Um, first, think about why, what, what's the use of the fabric? Um, are, is it going to be showing in the back? If it's going to be showing, um, then maybe you want to use a tearaway, depending on the stretch of the fabric. If it's not going to be showing, then there's no reason why you shouldn't use Cutaway, because Cutaway is the very best. It's going to provide the very best support for your fabric. So I highly recommend using Cutaway if you have no issues with the um, backing showing on the back. This is how mine looks on the back and the back won't be showing for what I need it for, so it's fine. Um, now this is a 100% polyester fabric, so it's even, see how stretchy it is? So it's even more important that you use Cutaway if your fabric is stretchy. And I use temporary adhesive spray because, like I mentioned before, my fabric is uh, stretchy. So this is just um, one last attempt to make sure that the fabric gets nice. Um, it stays nice and straight as it is embroidering. All right, so now that I walked you guys through all of the thought process behind why I chose the materials I chose, I'm going to go ahead and just spray some temporary adhesive spray on my backing and then hoop my fabric together with my water soluble stabilizer and my backing and then pop it on in the machine. So as you can see, the back of my hoop covers, the backing covers the entire area of my hoop. And because this is a stretchy fabric, I went ahead and I hooped the water soluble stabilizer on top because it just adds a little bit more support. And um, since it is a little bit of a larger design, um, if I do turn around, I don't want it to kind of pile up. That, is, that doesn't tend to happen with Sulky Saw because it is um, so, it's a lot heavier, so it kind of stays really well. 
but just in case, I like to play it safe. And also, if you do have, um, you can also float it on top, so you don't have to hoop it on top. You can float it. And if you do float it, um, just keep in mind the reason why people do this is because it does help save product. So yeah, you can go ahead and float it if you want. For me, it's just better and it gives me more stability with this type of fabric to hoop it on with the rest of the fabric. So I'm not sure if I mentioned this earlier, but if you are going to use the embossing technique, then you do want a design that is digitized for this technique. Now, what you'll see in a lot of these designs is that you'll see a knockdown stitch and you will see a satin stitch around the fabric that's kind of gonna be the little center of attention of your piece. And I also wanted to mention uh, color choice. Now for the embossing technique, a lot of people use the same color as your fabric, just in a different variation, either a lighter tone or a darker tone. So I chose to go with um, another pink, just a, a bit of a darker tone so that it can stand out. Um, a lighter tone really wouldn't work because this is already such a light towel. Um, so it really just depends. So if you're using a darker towel, you can use a lighter tone. If you're using a lighter towel, you could use a darker tone. Towel or fabric. I know I said towel, but it could be anything. <laughs> Alright, so keep all those tips in mind so you can also turn out a beautiful finished product like this one. So before you guys go, I wanted to go over a few key takeaways from this video that I think are really important. Number one, don't forget to use your water soluble stabilizer. That is going to help keep the rest of the stitches um, top on top of your embroidery. It's not going to sink in. Now you, I know that you are using the texture to your advantage and you want the texture to pop, but remember that the rest of the stitches need to show up as well. So the water so soluble stabilizer is still very important. Also, number two, when picking your fabrics, kind of keep in mind that you want to pick fabrics that have a little bit more, um, that are kind of not flat textured, that have a little more loops and all that going on. So for instance, this right here is a considered a textured fabric, but it's not really the best type of fabric for your embossed effect. Um, here's another example of what's not the best type of fabric. Right here, Yes, it's textured, it has a bunch of little squares, but it's not gonna look really nice with the emboss. You wanna get something that's gonna be able to pop out. So something with more um, dimension. So now that I showed you what doesn't work, let me show you a few more examples of what does work. Something like this would work because as you can see, it's fluffy, it'll pop out when you have um, that satin stitch border around it. Um, another thing, towels. This will work really well, especially with very fluffy towels will work really well. So think of your more fluffy textured fabrics when you're thinking of embossed. So now that you guys know how to emboss like a boss, now it's time to sign up for our newsletter, which I have linked below. Don't forget to sign up because you will get tips delivered to your inbox and you will also get these awesome videos. So. It's a kind of a win-win for you. <laughs> now, I also want to take the time to invite you somewhere else that's very important and precious to me, and it's called Embroidery and Custom Apparel Mastery. That is our Facebook community for all embroiderers and custom apparel decorators. So go ahead and join. I have linked it below. You can ask us any questions. There's thousands of us in there willing to answer your questions and you can also share any expertise that you have with us so go ahead and join i linked it below thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the group bye <laughs>